Chapter 1 A Solo Mission Astronaut John had trained for years to embark on his solo mission to a distant planet. The excitement he felt as he boarded his spacecraft was almost overwhelming. He had always dreamed of exploring the unknown, and this mission was his chance to do just that. As he lifted off from Earth, John looked out the window and watched as the planet he had known his entire life grew smaller and smaller until it was nothing but a tiny speck in the vast expanse of space. He felt a sense of awe and wonder at the beauty and majesty of the universe. But as he flew deeper into space, John's excitement began to give way to nerves. He was alone, hurtling through the void of space with nothing but the technology in his spacecraft to keep him alive. He tried to calm himself by focusing on the mission at hand. His destination was a planet that had been identified as potentially habitable, with a climate and atmosphere similar to Earth's. It was located far enough away that it would take him several months to reach it, even traveling at speeds beyond what seemed possible. But John was prepared for the journey, both physically and mentally. He spent his days performing maintenance on his spacecraft running experiments, and communicating with mission control back on Earth. But the monotony of his routine was broken one day when he received an urgent message from mission control. John, we're picking up an unusual reading from the planet you're headed towards. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. We need you to investigate. John's heart raced as he realized that this mission was about to take a dramatic turn. He had been prepared for the possibility of encountering life on the planet, but he had never expected anything like this. He approached the planet with caution, scanning the surface for any signs of danger. As he landed his spacecraft, John's senses were on high alert. He took a deep breath and stepped out of his spacecraft onto the barren, rocky terrain. At first, everything seemed normal. The landscape was harsh and inhospitable but that was to be expected. John had landed on unfamiliar planets before, and he was confident in his ability to navigate this one. But as he explored the surface, he began to notice something strange. There was no sign of water or vegetation. There were no animals or insects. It was as if the planet had been dead for millions of years. John's heart sank as he realized that this mission might not be as exciting as he had hoped. But little did he know that his life was about to take a drastic turn. Chapter 2 Stranded As John stepped out of his spacecraft, he couldn't shake the feeling that something was not right. The air was thick and hot, and there was a distinct smell of sulfur in the atmosphere. The planet was barren and uninhabitable, with no sign of water or any form of life. John's heart sank as he realized the gravity of his situation. He was stranded on this planet with no means of communication and no way to call for help. His spacecraft had been damaged during the landing, and he was unable to repair it. He was truly alone, with nothing but his survival skills to rely on. John quickly went into survival mode. He set up camp and began to explore the planet, searching for any signs of life or resources. He soon discovered that the planet was rich in mineral resources but that was of little use to him. He desperately searched for a way to contact Earth, but all attempts were futile. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, John began to lose hope. He struggled to find food and water, and he was constantly battling the harsh conditions of the planet. Despite the bleak circumstances, John refused to give up. He used his extensive knowledge of survival skills to build himself a shelter, hunt for food, and purify water. He spent hours each day exploring the planet, always searching for something that could help him. He used the resources he had to build a small farm, growing crops in a controlled environment. He also spent time studying the planet, taking notes on its geology and weather patterns. As the years passed, John's life on the planet became routine. He woke up early each day to tend to his farm, check his traps for animals, and purify water. He spent his afternoons exploring the planet, always searching for something new. He even managed to establish a routine for himself, which helped him keep his sanity in check. But despite his best efforts, John couldn't shake off the longing to return home. 
He spent every waking moment trying to find a way to contact Earth, but it was all in vain. He was truly alone on this planet, with no hope of rescue. He missed his family and friends, and he yearned to be back on Earth. John's situation became dire as the years went by. He struggled to find enough food and water to sustain himself, and he was constantly battling the harsh conditions of the planet. But just when he thought it was the end, he found a cave that contained a small underground lake. This discovery gave him the determination to keep going. John spent the next few years surviving on the planet, using the resources he had to build himself a shelter and finding ways to make his life as comfortable as possible. But despite his best efforts, John knew that he would never forget the planet that had been his home for so many years. It had been a harsh and unforgiving place, but it had also been the place where he had truly learned to live. Chapter 3 Surviving Alone John knew that he had to find a way to survive on the barren planet. He had no means of communication and no hope of rescue. All he had were his survival skills, his spacecraft, and the resources he could find on the planet. He spent the first few days exploring the area around his crashed spacecraft. The planet was vast, and there was no sign of life anywhere. The ground was rocky and dry, and the air was thin and cold. John knew he had to find shelter and start looking for resources. He rummaged through the wreckage of his spacecraft, salvaging whatever he could find. He found a few supplies, including a first aid kit, a water filtration system, and some rations. He set up camp in a small clearing and began to explore the planet. He walked for hours, searching for any signs of life or resources. He found nothing but rocks and dust. He knew he had to conserve his resources if he was going to survive. As the days turned into weeks, John struggled to find food and water. He had brought some rations with him, but they were running low. He tried to find water, but the planet was barren and dry. He knew he had to be careful and ration his supplies. John spent his days exploring the planet, looking for any resources he could find. He found a few mineral deposits, but they were of little use to him. He searched for signs of water but found none. He began to lose hope, and despair set in. But just when he thought all was lost, John stumbled upon a cave. He cautiously entered the cave, and to his surprise he found a small underground lake. He had struck gold. The water was clear and pure, and he could drink it without filtering it. John knew that he had to set up camp near the lake. He started to build himself a shelter using the resources he had salvaged from his spacecraft. He worked tirelessly, digging into the rocky terrain and building walls to protect himself from the harsh conditions of the planet. Once his shelter was complete, John started to grow crops in a controlled environment. He used the water from the underground lake to irrigate the plants. He spent his days tending to his crops and exploring the planet. Months turned into years and John had become adept at surviving on the planet. He had built himself a small farm, and he had everything he needed to survive. But despite his best efforts, he couldn't shake off the longing to return home. He spent every waking moment trying to find a way to contact Earth, but it was all in vain. As time passed, John came to appreciate the simple things in life. He had learned to survive and thrive in the most extreme conditions. He had gained a new perspective on life, and he knew that he would never forget the planet that had been his home for so many years. The thought of being stranded on a barren planet may seem terrifying, but for John, it was a lesson in survival and resilience. He had overcome tremendous obstacles and emerged a stronger and wiser person. He knew that he had a new lease on life, and he would never take it for granted again. Chapter 4 The Long Wait as the days turned into weeks and the weeks turned into months, John settled into a routine on the barren planet. He spent his mornings checking on his crops, which he had managed to cultivate in a controlled environment. He had found a way to filter the water from the underground lake and was using it to irrigate his crops. It wasn't much, but it was enough to sustain him. After he tended to his crops, 
John spent his afternoons exploring the planet. He would walk for hours, sometimes coming across strange rock formations or unusual landscapes. But no matter where he went, he found no signs of life. It was as if he were the only person in the universe. Despite his daily routine, John's mind was consumed with thoughts of home. He would often spend hours at a time staring up at the sky, hoping to see a rescue ship. But each day passed without any sign of help. John knew that he was alone, and the thought of spending the rest of his life on this planet filled him with a deep sense of despair. One day, as John was making his way back to his camp, he noticed something unusual. The sky had turned a deep shade of red, and the air was thick with an acrid smell. As he got closer to his camp, he realized that his worst fears had come true. A massive dust storm had swept across the planet, tearing through his crops and destroying his shelter. John was devastated. All of his hard work had been undone in an instant. He sat in the ruins of his shelter, wondering how he was going to survive. He had no shelter, no food, and no way to communicate with anyone. It was as if he were starting from scratch all over again. As the days passed, John struggled to rebuild his shelter and find new sources of food. The dust storm had stripped the planet of any remaining resources, and he was forced to venture further out to find anything he could use. But despite the hardships, John refused to give up. He was determined to survive, no matter what it took. As the months turned into years, John settled into his new life on the planet. He had managed to build a sturdy shelter, and had even found a way to build a small generator to power his equipment. He had become self-sufficient, relying only on his own skills and ingenuity to survive. But even as he thrived on the planet, John never forgot his longing for home. He missed his family and friends, and he longed to return to Earth. But with each passing day, it seemed less and less likely that he would ever leave the planet. Despite the odds, John refused to give up hope. He knew that he had come so far, and he was determined to make it back to Earth, no matter how long it took. As he sat in his shelter, staring up at the sky, he vowed to never give up, no matter what challenges lay ahead. Chapter 5 A New Hope John had been living on the barren planet for what felt like an eternity. The days bled into weeks, the weeks into months, and the months into years. But just when he had given up all hope of ever returning home, a miracle happened. He was in the middle of his daily routine, tending to his crops when he heard a strange noise in the distance. At first, he dismissed it as his imagination, but as the sound grew louder, he realized that it was coming from the sky. John dropped everything and ran towards the source of the noise. As he got closer, he saw a glimmer of light in the distance. It was a spacecraft, and it was headed straight for him. As the spacecraft landed, John couldn't believe his eyes. A team of astronauts stepped out, all wearing the same uniform he had worn when he first embarked on his mission. They had come to rescue him. The lead astronaut approached John and shook his hand. We've been looking for you for years, he said. We never gave up hope of finding you. John was overjoyed. He had longed for this moment for so long, and it was finally here. He was going home. As they boarded the spacecraft, John couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness. He had grown accustomed to the planet, and it had become his home. He had built a life for himself there, and leaving it all behind was bittersweet. But as the spacecraft took off, John felt a sense of relief wash over him. He was going home, back to his friends and family back to the life he had left behind. As they soared through space, John couldn't help but think about all he had learned during his time on the planet. He had discovered that he was stronger and more resilient than he ever thought possible. He had learned to survive in the harshest of conditions, and he had grown to appreciate the simple things in life. But above all else, John had learned the power of hope. Even in the darkest of times, hope kept him going. It had kept him alive. As they approached Earth, John's heart swelled with anticipation. 
he couldn't wait to see the familiar sights and smells of home. As the spacecraft touched down, John stepped out and was greeted by a crowd of people. His friends and family were there, all waiting to welcome him back. John was overwhelmed with emotion. He hugged his loved ones tightly, tears streaming down his face. He had made it home. As he looked up at the sky, John felt a sense of gratitude wash over him. He had been given a second chance, a chance to start over and make the most of his life. And as he walked away from the spacecraft, hand in hand with his family, John knew that he would never forget the planet that had been his home for so many years. It had been a harsh and unforgiving place, but it had also been the place where he had truly learned to live. Chapter 6 Homecoming John had never felt so relieved in his entire life. As he stood on the deck of the rescue spacecraft, watching the barren planet shrink into the distance, he knew that he had survived one of the most challenging experiences any human could endure. He had spent over five years on that harsh, unforgiving planet, battling against the elements and struggling to stay alive. He had learned to adapt and thrive in the most extreme conditions, but he had also learned to appreciate the simple things in life. As he looked around the spacecraft, he realized just how much he had missed the comforts of home. The journey back to Earth was a blur of activity. The rescue team took care of John, monitoring his health and ensuring that he was comfortable. They gave him fresh clothes, food, and water, and they even allowed him to take a shower. It was the first time he had felt truly clean in years. As the spacecraft descended toward Earth, John's excitement grew. He had dreamed of this moment for so long, and now it was finally here. He couldn't wait to see his family and friends, to tell them about his incredible journey, and to feel the warmth of the sun on his face once again. When the spacecraft landed, John was greeted by a throng of reporters and well-wishers. He has whisked away to a medical facility, where doctors and scientists ran tests and examined him from head to toe. They were fascinated by his story and eager to learn more about the planet he had visited. But John was only interested in one thing, going home. He was discharged from the hospital and driven to his childhood home, where his family and friends were waiting for him. As he stepped out of the car, he was overwhelmed by the emotions flooding through him. His mother was the first to greet him, wrapping him in a tight hug and crying tears of joy. His father, sister, and brother were close behind, each one embracing him and congratulating him on his incredible journey. For the next few weeks, John was a celebrity. He was interviewed on television, featured in newspapers and magazines, and invited to speak at conferences around the world. People were fascinated by his story and inspired by his resilience. But as the weeks turned into months, John began to realize that life on Earth was not the same as life on the planet he had left behind. He missed the solitude and the silence, the freedom to explore and discover new things. He missed the thrill of survival, the knowledge that every day was a battle to stay alive. Slowly but surely, John began to retreat into himself. He spent more and more time alone, reflecting on his experiences and trying to make sense of what he had learned. He had gained so much from his time on the planet, but he had also lost so much. It was a bittersweet realization, but one that he knew he had to come to terms with. He had lived through an incredible journey, and now it was time for him to find a new one. He didn't know what the future held, but he knew that he was ready for whatever came his way. Epilogue As the rescue team's spacecraft lifted off the planet's surface, John gazed out of the window, taking one final look at the barren planet that had been his home for so long. He couldn't believe he was finally leaving, finally returning to Earth after all these years. It was a bittersweet feeling, a mix of sadness at leaving the planet that had taught him so much and excitement at the thought of seeing his family and friends again. As the spacecraft soared through the void of space, John sat back and let out a sigh of relief. He was finally safe, finally back in the embrace of humanity. The journey back to Earth was long, and John spent most of his time reflecting on his experiences on the planet. 
He thought about the challenges he had faced, the moments of despair, and the moments of triumph. He thought about the lessons he had learned, the things he had discovered, and the person he had become. When John finally arrived back on earth, he was greeted by a crowd of people. News of his survival had spread around the world, and people were eager to see the man who had survived on a distant planet for so many years. John was overwhelmed by the attention, but he was also grateful for the support of so many people. In the weeks and months that followed, John was interviewed by journalists and scientists from around the world. He shared his experiences, his discoveries, and his insights, and he became something of a celebrity. But despite the attention, John remained humble and grounded. He knew that his survival had been a team effort, and that he had only made it back to Earth because of the hard work and dedication of so many people. As time went on, John began to settle back into life on Earth. He reconnected with his family and friends, and he started to rebuild his life. But even as he moved forward, he couldn't forget the planet that had been his home for so long. He couldn't forget the lessons he had learned, the discoveries he had made, and the person he had become. In the years that followed, John dedicated his life to studying the planet and sharing his experiences with others. He became a respected scientist and writer, and he traveled the world, giving lectures and presentations about his time on the planet. He wrote books and articles, sharing his insights and discoveries with people everywhere. But even as he shared his knowledge with others, John remained haunted by the memory of the planet. He knew that there was still so much more to discover and learn. And so, even as he grew older, he never stopped dreaming of returning to the planet and exploring its vast and mysterious landscape once again. And then, one day, it happened. A team of scientists and explorers discovered a way to travel to the planet faster and more efficiently than ever before and they had come to John, asking him to join them on the journey. At first, John was hesitant. He was older now, and he knew that the journey would be difficult and dangerous. But in the end, his curiosity and his longing for adventure won out. And so he joined the team, ready to embark on another journey into the unknown. As the spacecraft soared through the void of space, John gazed out of the window, his heart pounding with excitement. He knew that this journey would be even more challenging than the last, that there would be new obstacles to overcome and new discoveries to be made. But he also knew that it would be worth it, that the journey would be a testament to the human spirit and the endless quest for knowledge and adventure. And so, as the spacecraft approached the distant planet, John felt a rush of excitement and anticipation. 